What's up, man? It's your big brother, Trend. You tuned in again to another exclusive video only for the chosen ones and the chosen ones only. If you are not chosen, what I'm going to say to you, it just it just won't resonate with you, okay? You're going to end up clicking off. It ain't What I'm telling you, it ain't going to make sense. If you're a true chosen one, you're probably already going through this, okay? So I'm just going to confirm to you that what you've been thinking lately is not you, okay? This is because, this is happening because you are a chosen one, all right? Do me a favor, y'all. Press that thumbs up button right now if the title got your attention. If it's something that you're interested in, press that button if you have celebrity qualities. All right, that's all I'm going to say. If you have celebrity qualities, give that video, get this video a thumbs up. Let's get this algorithm ticking through the roof, all right, because they count on you out, all right? But it ain't going to work. I'm about to tell you why in this video. Also, folks, please be mindful. Yes, I'm very popular on YouTube and other platforms. So I have a lot of people out there trying to portray themselves to be me. It's not me. I will never ask you for money. Like, what do I need your money for? Other than if you buy, like, a course from me or something. But if you talk to me, then you know it's me, okay? If they don't have a blue check mark, if they don't have a shield, it's not official. That's not me. Don't send your money to people over text messages, folks. Come on. Let's use wisdom. All right. Anyway, so if you are a chosen one, you've probably been experiencing it already in your life. Um, the world treats you like you don't exist or they try to treat you like you don't exist. Matter of fact, they try so much to ignore and undermine you that it's almost obvious that you must be somebody special, okay? And the reason why they do this is because you are special. See, you probably can't see it yet, all right? You probably can't see that you are a natural born celebrity, okay? But they can. This is why they treating you strangely, you know? And you might be, you might be cool with people and you, you might try to try your hardest to try to show up and just be relaxed and calm. You probably done got to a point now where it's like you don't say nothing. You know, you just stay in your own shell and you just stay out of harm's way. But it seems that no matter what you do, right, it's like you can never escape the attention, right? You been feeling like that lately? Like the attention is like constantly chasing you. You know, if, if you go somewhere, everybody's staring at you. Everybody's looking at you. Everybody's trying to get connected to you. Everybody's trying to ask you for your number. Everybody's trying to holler at you and stuff. Everybody's trying to throw you the nan nan, the poo poo. You know what I mean? If you're a guy, guy <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's nothing for you to get girls. It's just like, you trying to avoid them. You know what I mean? If you're a woman, it's nothing for you to get a guy. It's like, they come a dime a dozen. They like a bus. They come every 15 minutes. They just keep running and running and running. Listen, no matter how hard you try, okay? You cannot hide your starness. You have star power, okay? As much as you want to deny me, and as much as you want to deny celebrities and stuff like that you can't deny it it is what it is this message is a confirmation to give to tell you today you have star qualities okay you are a chosen one anybody that's a chosen one will tell you this is how it all started out all right they 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 was the only one that was picked from the bottom okay all the crabs at the bottom of the barrel for some strange reason that hand came in that barrel and just picked you up and just took you to the sea so you can go on about your, your life, all right? And people notice that on you when they come around you. Like when, when people come in your presence, see, you be you be walking around thinking that yourself is just normal. You know what I'm saying? You might go to the casino and be thinking, I got to get some money or, you know, I got to play this lottery. I got to play this scratch out, but I got to go get this bag. You know, you might be a dancer. You know what I'm saying? You just like... Yeah, I dance, you know, and I, I just, I'm making my money on the side and stuff like that. That's what you're thinking in your mind. See, you trying to bring, you trying to keep yourself average. You trying to do that, all right? You trying to be like, you know, inconspicuous, or you trying so hard to stay below the radar. But don't you, don't you, don't you see? It don't never work, man. It don't never work. Like if you're around a group of people or something like that, and it could be other people with, with better, with more clout around you it don't matter you can be around your boss it don't matter all right none of it matter you could be in a room with people that got buku money it don't matter 
Okay, you could be with a guy that got a whole lot of money. He he he'll take you anywhere. Turks and Caicos. He's trying to take you to Spain. He's trying to take you to Abracadabra. He's trying to pay all your rent up for a whole year. It don't matter. You still are the center of attention, and it's like they can't get enough for you, man. And see, this this is the reason why when you come in contact with people, yo, like this is why they like they they immediately do like the forty yard dash. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because when they get when they get around you, your anointing is 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 so big, your light is so big. It's like they finally met a star. You know what I mean? See, most people they just see TV, man, and it's just like you know you see us on the Super Bowl, you see the Kansas City Chiefs, you know doing his doing their thing on the football field. That's Patrick Mahomes right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, look, that's Remy Ma. That's Remy Ma. She she still got it. She ain't got old yet. That Nicki Minaj right there. That Minaj, Chun Lee, Chun Lee. Look at Minaj. Got them chopsticks in her hair. Like, most people just see TV, and that's the only way, place that they can see somebody of that stature. But it is very mind blowing to them when they come in your presence, and it's it's you. It's you. They they get scared, bro. They run. They like, oh, sh and see behind closed doors. See, they ain't gonna never tell you this. See, I'm snitching. I'm telling you what they because I'm psychic. <laughs> I know I'm a life coach. I know I know what they thinking behind the scenes about you. They like you so much that they can't like you. It's crazy, and this is the effect that you have on people. But see, you in, see you can't see it from inside your bubble, from outside looking in. You can't see it. You feel me? But you'll have signs to confirm it. You'll have celebrity, other celebrities that subliminally trying to send you messages and copying your dress and style and stuff like that. Um, um, you'll have videos like me popping up telling you you'll star. You know, you're a celebrity. You'll have people that might be in your family or somebody that it's a star in the family. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, it's just like you, you you got something. I don't know what your gift or your talent or your calling or your vision is. I don't know. All right. I'm just a messenger. I'm just delivering the mail to your mailbox to let you know you got you got bills to pay. All right. And the only way you're going to be able to pay these bills is if you go out here and just shine this light. Now, no matter how much you try to dim your light to try to keep yourself like low key, it's not going to work before so long. Eventually, the dam is going to break. You feel me? It's just like you letting the pressure build up and pressure building up and you gonna burst. All right. I don't know when, how, what, where, I don't know. But your dam is going to burst. All right. It's just like a woman that's pregnant. She can try to hold that baby and get be scared of birth all she wants. It don't matter. That day is coming where that water is gonna break and that baby is gonna come out into the world. She's gonna have to push forward. It is inevitable. It's inevitable. Like when you have a baby in your stomach, shouts out to all my ladies out there that ain't had no baby. Let me explain something to you, okay? Basic pregnancy knowledge one-on-one, -on -one, all right? <laughs> I've been in a birth room and I, I've seen it. So I have the authorization to speak on this. Pregnant ladies, they always had to have kids. If you had kids, I, don't I got authorization? I got much mustache, see? All right? But anyway, there's nothing you can do once you get pregnant, all right? When you get pregnant with that baby, all right? Once that baby has a heartbeat, it's in you. It ain't no turning back. It ain't nothing. The more the day by day progress, it's going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. That baby is going to come out of you. OK, whether you like it or not. And it's like you constantly anticipating on when it's going to when it's going to happen, because this is like it's like being baptized or something. It's like you rebirthing. You know, what I mean, once you have that baby, you become a new person. It's like a new life. OK, it's the same way with you as a chosen one. You was chosen for this very reason. You was chosen because you have a very special purpose in life. All right. And you was ordained this special purpose all the way since birth. And you always knew it. And it feels strange. It feels scary. It feels funny. It feels odd. You know, when you hang around people and stuff like that, because you know, you, you know, deep down inside that you got that thing or whatever they call it. You got it. All right. Whatever you do, you got it. You got it. You the one. You know, when you do your craft, you be feeling like, yo, if I do it too good, I already know, bro. I'm going to break open to I'm going to break open into the celebrity life. I already know. Like you probably be thinking that sometimes 
you know, when you be baking them cookies, if you a bakery, a, a baker or something like that. You probably be thinking that sometimes if you a car detailer, man, if I clean this car just that good, man, they might think I got a lot of money and just come to my house and try to rob me. Like you be thinking stuff like that in the back of your mind because you know that, you know that if you put your magic to it and you fall into the magic of like just doing whatever it is that you are called to do, you know for a fact it's not going to go unnoticed. Everybody's going to recognize it. And this is why, you know, chosen ones, you a natural born celebrity. Um, you will have celebrities that you run into. If you run in, if you be running into celebrities on the regular, whether you at the club or something, maybe a celebrity that done reached out to you. Speak on, let, let your voice be heard below. Leave a comment. Let me know. Have you had any experiences with celebs? Have celebs invited you to they to their crib or, you know, maybe they hit you up in the DM was like, what's up, baby? Or something like that. You know what I mean? This is because you are, they know it's something about you that's different from everybody else. They know it. They can feel it. They can sense it. A celebrities don't, they don't interact with people who they know is not on their frequency. They don't do it. But if you're on a frequency now where it's to the point where you starting to attract celebrities, you feel me? You starting to attract people of this iconic. You see them at the store. You know what I mean? You might run into somebody at the store that's a big time. You ran into them at the store. You might see somebody at the gas station. It's big time. You might see the baby, the baby at the gas station making the video or something, you know, rapping. You understand? You might be, you might pull up to a, to a, to a street corner and they, and they shooting the movie set. You know what I mean? They shooting power on the corner of, of the block and they shooting power. You just like, why? Dang, how did I run into this, 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 this movie scene? It's because you are a part of that elite status of class of people all right now one thing i got to say is this don't go into Hollywood. don't become hot don't go hollywood all right we've all heard of what hollywood is all about okay it's up now it's up okay it's up people don't spoke out on it cat williams no cat williams no spoke out on it kanye west no spoke out on hollywood everybody know hollywood is trash now it's not like it used to be OK, everybody already know it's messed up. All right. Don't go Hollywood. OK, um, it's up now. It's up. OK, they took God out the picture. It's all about some demonic stuff now. That's the only thing I got to tell you. Don't sell your soul and go to Hollywood, because I'm telling you, if you that chosen one, like you say, you will. The devil will come and the devil will offer you the world on a silver platter. You can best believe that's going to try. That's going to happen to you. If it ain't happened to you already. Um, it's going to happen to you. All right. If it happened to you before, speak up, let your voice be heard below. And have, have you been offered like crazy deals, like out of this world type of deals that, that the regular person would, wouldn't be able to deny. You feel me? Have people tried to get you to do stuff for them and like, man, I, I'll do this for you if you do it. You know what I mean? I'll pay you this much money, girl. I'll give you this much if you do. And something in the back of your mind was just your spirit click. Just like, that's not good for you. Comment below and let me know if you have a story that you did something where somebody came in contact with you and they tried to offer you like the world on a silver platter. You know what I mean? Don't go Hollywood. Just stay, a, just be in your own natural celebrity, celebrity status, if you know what I mean. Stay independent, basically what I'm saying. Don't let nobody buy you, okay? And if you do sign any type of deals or any type of contracts, if you are that chosen one, if you do sign any type of deals or any type of contracts, Make sure that it's something that you can buy yourself out of. Don't never sign that that you can't buy out. Okay, get a lawyer to read your stuff. You know, somebody professional. But most of all, make sure that you can pay back whatever they give you because you make that type of money now and make sure you got it where you, you can buy yourself out. That way, can't nobody keep you trapped in a contract. Okay, that's the number one golden rule that a lot of people make after they become famous and stuff like that. They don't, they don't get a buyout contract and it's way too much money that they are given, so much money that they can't even make it back. So don't ever... Take way more. Don't if they sell a big number like thirty million for you or something like that, and you know you only make like the seventy thousand dollars a year, or maybe not even that, maybe forty thousand. But they like you because your gift. Do not, I repeat, do not take a ten million, four million, three, not even a three million dollar deal. Take something in the, the six figure range. You feel me? Be smart because I'm telling you, bro. When you the chosen one, a lot of people want to use you. You know what I mean? A lot of people try to trap you so they can use you as a puppet like they do most of these people out here. You understand? But um, again, if you're the chosen one, you are a natural born celebrity. OK, and you are a star. OK, you're a star. It don't matter what you do, bro. 
Everything you do is going to turn to gold. It don't matter. It, it don't it don't matter, bro. You can walk into a store. You can walk into the street corner store where in the hood. If you go in there, bro, everybody is going to follow in behind you. They're going to follow suit because they can feel your, your vibe. They can feel your energy. Okay? You got a natural star power on you. All right? If you're the true chosen one. Okay? If you're the true chosen one. You don't even have to try hard to be a chosen one. Most people that's, most people that's a star and celebrity, they don't even like to know people. They don't even want people to know that that's them. So if you already walking around trying to be like low key, low profile, and people still know who you are, know who you is and stuff like that, you you got it. That's what I'm talking about. You got it. You might try to throw some braids in your hair, just try to throw them off. You know, throw some sunglasses on or something like that. You just try to throw them off. You might be the type of person, you know, I'm gonna tuck this chain in, Devo coming around. You know what I'm saying? Let's take that watch off real quick. It don't matter, bro. They know you got money, bro. It don't matter. They know who you is, dog. They know who you is. It ain't no escaping. It ain't no escaping your destiny. You feel me? If you're the chosen one, bro, you, your, your destiny is going to be bright. Okay? You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna make waves in the world. And you already doing it. You already been doing it the whole time. You've been making waves the whole time. Been dripping the whole time. You know, see, people out here, they got to go buy drip. What type of outfit you wearing, sir? Oh, this is the bust down. The bust down. The car the day. The Get your white head, the, the Giorgio Armino Alfredo is there. What you say, sir? It's the Giorgio, Giorgio Alfredo Armino Fettuccini on for said shirt. All right. And right there, I got the belt right there. It's the Steve Madden times two. What? Steve Madden times two belt with the Gucci frames on it and your B.B. Simmons with the diamond sprinkles on it. I got that. And you look down low, I got some more drip down yonder. Okay, if you look down yonder, I got them on, that's them BB Carters. What? Get them BB Carters. See my portion, y'all cousins came out with them yesterday and they got Frank under the bottom of them. You gonna put them Frank on the bottom of them and they already come with a smell on them. <laughs> what kind of drip is he wearing? God dang, I want some of that. God dang. What you, sir, sir, what? You smell good. What is it? You asking too many questions. You asking you asking too many questions. You want to know? You really want to know? You really want to know? Salt banana spray. What, sir? Salt banana spray. It's the only one in the world. It's the only one in the world. I got this specially made for me. They call two thousand dollars. It's a, a cool smooth too. All right, bro. You got it, bro. You dripping in the air. See, but you don't got to do all that if you're the chosen one. You drip with nothing. You can drip in a damn shower cap. You can drip in some pajamas. It don't even matter. You don't even got to be looking your best. They always going to be on you no matter what. You can be around people that's got drip on them. They looking good. They got hats be fitted like big bro. They chains on. Everything. It don't matter, bro. They still going to... They still gonna hate on you because they can feel that vibe coming. They can feel your light energy. They can feel your star, your star power. And this is what happens when you come in contact with people. They literally get starstruck, and this is why they treat you the way that they treat you. So I just wanted to put it out there. Don't go Hollywood. Stay independent. Do your own thing. Stay in your own lane. But just know everybody knows your name, man. It's your big bro trend, man. Listen, if you know for a fact that you're the chosen one, all right, and you want to watch some of my secret videos. If you look below in the comment section, at the top, I got the Chosen Ones Breakthrough Course, all right? And I got some other Chosen Ones courses, too. You might want to check them out if you got that star power, okay? I got some videos in there. I don't even got them on YouTube. I just keep them private. I keep them secret because I can't put all my goodies out there. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, get you one of them, man. Also, make sure you join my Discord group, man, if you a Chosen One. Join my Discord group by clicking the link below. All right, join us. We have conversations, 24-hour chat inside the Discord group. Again, folks, don't be sending money to people that's trying to be me. Don't send money to people that's trying to pretend like they be me, folks. That ain't me. I don't even got time for that, bro. They using my name. They clout chasing, okay? Don't do that. It's Big Bro Trend. You'll know me by my language, by my language, by how I act. You know who I am, man. It's your Big Bro Trend, man. I can't get it no better. I'll see you in the next video. Stay blessed. Stay chosen, man. Stay out of trouble. Keep God number one in your life. Keep Jesus first, man. Peace.